Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. Today is Tuesday, January 21st, and it looks like an historical snowstorm will be continuing to move across the southeast United States, affecting uh, all of the southeastern states, uh, including Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina, also northeastern Florida, having winter weather conditions there as well. All right, let's get right to it and go to the maps. First of all, the radar summary from the Charleston National Weather Service radar located located in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Well, just north of Ridgeland at uh, Gray's. Anyway, showing some light precipitation off the coast, uh, trying to move on shore. That is light rain at the moment. And then we're seeing a swath of snow across central South Carolina, stretching into central portions of Georgia. Snowing pretty good now in the Augusta, Georgia area. All right, let's take a look at some of the other radars from across the region. And, um, over farther to the west in Louisiana. You don't see this too often. Heavy snow in the New Orleans area right now of Louisiana. Southern portions of Louisiana getting moderate to heavy snow. They had a blizzard warning out earlier for in and around the Lake Charles, Louisiana area, but moderate to heavy snow falling across that region right now. Uh, over to the um, west, uh, east of that, west of us, over in Alabama, we're seeing moderate to heavy snow now falling across a large portion of central and southern Alabama in and around the uh, uh, Dotham, Alabama area, just north of Dotham, over toward Montgomery and uh, moving in toward Columbus, uh, or Columbus, Georgia at this time and spreading eastward into the west central portions of Georgia. And uh, one other radar I have to show is the Atlanta area, Peachtree City, showing the snow coming out of uh, the Alabama area into west central and northwestern Georgia into northeastern Georgia, spreading across into South Carolina. Now, this whole area will continue to shift off to the east throughout the remainder of the afternoon into the evening hours. But there's a temperature fluctuation that we have to look at, particularly here in the coastal area. So with that being said, let's take a look at, first of all, the advisories from across the area. And with all that snow on the radar, yeah, winter storm warnings are in effect for a large portion of the southeast United States from still in and around the Houston area for snow on the ground there. And then from Louisiana across to Mississippi and Alabama into Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and eastern portions, extreme eastern portions of Virginia, and also into the northern portions of Florida. You just don't see this too often in Florida, a winter storm warning in effect for a large portion of the entire southeast. And this includes the greater Savannah area. That goes all the way out to the coast to Tybee Island and inland past Statesboro to Metter uh, and southward into the Hinesville area, um, into Waycross, Brunswick. Brunswick, St. Simons, looks like considerable icing could be uh, occurring in that area. Uh, Darien uh, and, and, and maybe even Jessup, uh, considerable icing uh, to be associated with this system here, all the way down into the Jacksonville area in Gainesville, Florida. All right, let's take a look at the um, uh, national radar. Uh, first of all, we just saw the regional radars. There's the national radar there showing the precipitation sliding off toward the east. All right. I want to go into the maps right now because that's important. And uh, here we go here. There's our local radar. And I want to go back to here because the temperatures, as you can see, uh, here in southeast portions of Georgia are in the low to middle 40s at this time, upper 30s in the upper parts of southeastern Georgia. Over north of Interstate 16, we're in the 30s. But over where the snow is falling, the temperature is dropping into the low to middle 30s to the upper 20s now. And in the Atlanta area, it's right around 30 uh, degrees to upper 20 uh, in that uh, greater Atlanta metropolitan area. All right, let's take a look at the forecast models first of all. And this is the uh, from the Regional Global Environmental Multiscale Model, or we just call it the RGM. And uh, it shows the uh, forecast and uh, it's the high resolution model and it shows it for every hour showing snow and rain, freezing rain falling across eastern Georgia and South Carolina throughout the overnight hours into the early morning hours, also into the eastern portions of uh, South Carolina or North Carolina, South Carolina and North Carolina and Southeast Virginia. Hence, you saw those winter storm warnings that have been in, that are in effect for those areas. All right, let's go a little bit closer and zoom in on this and look at some of the uh, global models, the GFS, the global forecast system, the United States model, 
And here's uh, what it's uh, showing right now. And uh, let's put this into motion. Uh, this is for Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday at sunset. Here we have Tuesday at sunset. Now, uh, actually 7 p.m., the sun will have already been set. But uh, here's an area of freezing rain and sleep that's to be associated with this system. And then snow off to the west of this area into central Georgia and just about all of South Carolina going into a large portion of North Carolina. Also, it's rain still in northeastern portions of Florida. But let's go advance another three hours into this. And this will be putting it at 10 o'clock tonight. We're still seeing the freezing rain and sleet in eastern counties of Georgia. Uh, and then the uh, freezing rain and sleet start developing in the northeastern portions of Florida, uh, in and around Gainesville, just north of Gainesville, over toward just north of Jacksonville, and then moves off the coast by uh, sunrise tomorrow morning. All right, let's look at the... Um, the, uh, the uh, Canadian model, because it, it has been forecasting pretty good. I'm going to show you the forecast from seven days ago versus right now, uh, just a moment. But anyway, let's take a look at its forecast, and it is going with basically the same thing. Uh, a large area of freezing rain and sleet across the eastern counties of South Carolina, southeastern North Carolina, over into southeastern and south central and southwestern Georgia, into the panhandle of Florida. And this is as of um, 3 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning, 06 Zulu. That's 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, going overnight uh, into uh, the um, uh, 12 Zulu tomorrow morning or 7 a.m. Still shows it on the coast and um, freezing rain and then moves off the coast during the mid-morning hours. All right. Let's look at the ECMWF, the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast. Again, this model seems to be the one that has been picking up the best uh, so far on this forecast. And let's see what it's uh, saying for itself this Tuesday afternoon. And it shows as of uh, 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time, showing a, a band of shower of rain freezing rain and sleet across southeastern Georgia, snow across the interior portions of Georgia into South Carolina, North Carolina, and freezing rain and snow across the panhandle of Florida. And then this is as of 7 o'clock at 10 o'clock. Right there, it shows a band of sleet and freezing rain across the coastal counties of South Carolina. It's off the coast of North Carolina now. Uh, then freezing rain and sleet across extreme southeastern Georgia into uh, the panhandle of Florida with rain still falling over in a cold rain at that uh, in the northern portions of Florida. And let's go to 1 o'clock in the morning, and it shows a, the band of freezing rain and sleet still across eastern counties of Georgia, South Carolina. Now moving into the northeast portions of Florida uh, with some freezing rain there and glazing conditions potential uh, in the northern portions of Florida, still uh, extreme southeastern Georgia. And then by... Uh, Four o'clock in the morning uh, shows freezing rain, again, continuing in the northeastern portions of Florida, changing the sleet in southeastern Georgia, snow in the rest of the counties of Georgia, then moves off the coast by daybreak for tomorrow. All right, let's take a look at uh, something that I want to show you. Uh, the temperature uh, as of the um, late afternoon, uh, sunset, uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, temperatures in coastal and southeastern Georgia will be around the low to middle 30s, just above the freezing mark. Remember, 32 is freezing. Uh, it should be right around the freezing mark in and around the coastal counties of South Carolina over on Hilton Head and so forth. We're seeing those temperatures there. Uh, and then freezing behind this whole system where in central Georgia, uh, it will be snowing at this time. But this is as of uh, 7 p.m. Let's look at 10 p.m. And there we can see the surface temperature is dropping to below freezing. Now all, just about all of Georgia uh, and uh, all of South Carolina, we're seeing temperatures at the surface below freezing. But what I want to look at here is what is going on just above the surface, about 3,000 feet above the surface to 5,000 feet above the surface. And I have that right here. And this again now is at 7 p.m. And we're now sitting at about uh, somewhere between four and 5,000 feet above the surface. And it shows temperatures above freezing all the way up to north of Charleston and in toward almost uh, to Statesboro, back to Valdosta. Here we see temperatures above freezing 
uh, in the up the area above the surface where the surface is falling below freezing the upper area is above freezing what does that mean that means you're either going to have sleet or freezing rain or just plain rain uh, with these temperatures in this area here you do not have snow you have either sleet rain or freezing rain all right let's move in advance one hour uh, one frame that'll be three hours and this will be at 10 o'clock tonight we're still seeing temperatures above freezing uh, uh, in all of the upper portions of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. But remember, the surface is already below freezing in the South Carolina counties and just around the Savannah area as well. So that means precipitation falling will be freezing rain. That causes a glazing, and it, 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 the rain falls and uh, freezes immediately upon contact on the roads and on the tree limbs and on the power lines. So you're gonna have the freezing rain developing across this area here. Uh, let's go one more frame uh, into uh, 10 o'clock tonight to uh, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, there's one o'clock right there. And then by four o'clock, uh, the freezing line goes all the way to the coast by sunrise. So uh, you're gonna be changing all over to snow throughout the overnight hours. All right, let's look at the amount of freezing rain. That's potential, the glazing. And it could be considerable across the southeastern portions of Georgia into northeastern uh, uh, Florida, uh, in and around uh, just north of uh, Jacksonville, uh, just to the north of the Gainesville area. And also in the St. Simons, Brunswick area, we could see considerable glazing basically from Darien uh, southward and over toward the Okefenokee Swamp. We could see some uh, considerable glazing of ice uh, before it all changes over to snow. A uh, lesser chance in the uh, Savannah area and Hilton Head area, we could see a little bit glazing before it all changes back over to snow. And the question is, how much snow? And here we have it right here. And this is the forecast snow. Uh, over in the interior portions of Georgia, this is according to the uh, ECMWF because it's been the model that's been kind of pretty close all along uh, with this forecast. And it's showing uh, anywhere from uh, uh, two to four inches, even more inches of snow, maybe five inches in some locations across the interior portions of Georgia into South Carolina. And then uh, over into the panhandle of Florida, here we see four inches, uh, five to six inches of snow in southeastern portions of Alabama. Uh, over into the central portions of Georgia and around Dublin, uh, five inches of snow. How about the Statesboro area? Uh, right over in here, we'll potential four inches of snow. Now, this is a 10 to one ratio. Probably we won't get that much snow uh, because it'll, that's a dry snow. And it has to be below about 25 to 24 degrees to get a dry snow. Otherwise, it's a wet snow. It's a little bit more compact. So it's probably going to be a little less than that, uh, one to two inches perhaps in many locations. We could see up to four inches of snow, though, uh, in several other locations. I want to show you a couple of other maps here. I have it here, uh, forecast. Uh, this is from the National Blend of Models. It, it, it takes kind of like everything and puts it all together and averages it out. And this is the uh, snow amount forecast from the uh, uh, MBN, the National Blend of Models. And it's showing also about two to three inches of snow across uh, south central, southwestern Georgia uh, into the uh, uh, central Savannah River area into South Carolina and North Carolina with the heavier snow across the coast of North Carolina. And then about one to two inches of snow uh, up in the Savannah area, southward to Brunswick. But uh, looking at the amount of ice uh, that could accumulate, we could see a tenth of an inch to about 15 hundredths of an inch, maybe two tenths of an inch of ice coating on power lines and on bridges and roadways and tree limbs. And if any kind of wind uh, develops, that will uh, uh, cause issues with breaking of tree limbs and branches and pulling down power lines. Also, all the bridges uh, will be extremely slippery, almost impassable to get up and down those bridges. So keep that in mind as well. And then if we look at the combination of the two, there we have the total precipitation effect uh, to be associated with this storm uh, for this um, Tuesday night going into early Wednesday morning. The question is, though, the snow is not going to be melting anytime soon, so it's going to be hanging around for two or three days because we're going to see temperatures uh, in the uh, uh, 20s, low to middle 20s for the low for the next several nights and highs only in the 40s for the next couple of days. Actually, 30s to, on Wednesday, then 40s after that. All right, another map I want to show you here is the... Um, the combination of the, this was from last Wednesday, a week ago, just about six days ago, and this was the forecast for today. 
uh, for Tuesday uh, and in, uh, ending Wednesday morning, uh, which is tomorrow, which we expect the storm to be ending. The GFS said nothing's going to happen. It's going to be all rain of anything. Uh, the CMC, that's the Canadian Meteorological Center, it was forecasting uh, uh, all along ice and snow for this area uh, with uh, snow further to the north, all the way up into Tennessee, even Kentucky uh, with this. So it was a little bit too broad. Uh, the icon, the German model, well, you know, got to look at this. Uh, it was forecasting ice over in the uh, north portion of Florida, southeastern Georgia, coastal Georgia, into extreme South Carolina, and then snow uh, over this area. And that's exactly what it looks like it's going to be going on right now. But uh, the icon model has been jumping all over the place. This happened to be one of the luckier forecasts for it. But then again, a, 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 a basically a week ago, the ECMWF was forecasting this model uh, for today. So this was a six-day forecast ending for, well, actually tomorrow morning. And this is almost exactly what we still expect to happen. So yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> the ECMWF did a really good job. Uh, the CMC, uh, this GFS, well, you know, we've got a little work to do on that one as well. Okay, let's take a look at the um, uh, forecast maps once again. And here we have the uh, forecast for uh, my website, savannapat.name. And, and as you look at the forecast here, there's all my videos. If you want to look at back at the videos, I post them here and on my YouTube channel, of course. And uh, there's the forecast for today. Snow will be developing later this afternoon across uh, the interior portions of southeastern Georgia and then changing all over to snow tonight across all of the region, particularly after uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. But in the coastal counties, we'll see it starting off as rain, freezing rain, then sleet, then snow, with accumulation of about 1 to 2 inches uh, in the coastal counties, about two to four inches over the inland counties. So we'll have to keep that in mind. And then um, cl clearing off tomorrow afternoon, but then clouding up late tomorrow night into Thursday. Uh, temperatures only in the 30s for the high tomorrow, low tomorrow night, 21 degrees, and then 42 for the high on Thursday and 23 for the low. So that's going to cause major a havoc with transportation because the snow is just not going to melt and it's going to be hanging around on the roads and on the bridges and uh, 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 causeways and so forth. Uh, those are going to be ice covered and slippery. I would bet that the Truman Parkway will be closed, particularly the segment uh, 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 segment five where it goes from Abercorn over to Waters Avenue where it has to cross over the Vernon River. Uh, I got a feeling that's going to be closed and some of the bridges uh, on 21 going up toward the Georgia ports and so forth, up toward Port Wentworth, uh, 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 will be most likely closed as well. And uh, not to mention the Lazarillo Creek Bridge, the Bull River Creek, and the, uh, uh, the uh, bridge over the uh, uh, coastal highway, uh, uh, coastal, what do you call that <laughs> road over there? The road over in the uh, islands uh, freeway, uh, uh, parkway, yeah, anyway. And the uh, Taurus Causeway, uh, that's going to be an iffy one, too. Uh, the bridges over on the uh, St. Simons and Brunswick area are going to have issues with that. And the bridge over the uh, Audemars River in the Darien area are going to have issues with that one as well. So, yeah, we're going to have major tr problems. And the Interstates 95, Interstate um, uh, 16, Interstate 10, those are all going to be closed. I can guarantee you they're going to be closed with this because... Uh, we just don't have the equipment to get rid of all this snow in a very uh, that comes down at a very short period of time. So we'll just have to deal with it. And the, you know, as we say in the southeast here, the best snow removal equipment we have is called the sun. We're just gonna have to wait for the sun to do its job, and that's probably not going to be until about well Thursday at the earliest, Friday most likely. By the weekend, we should be okay. But um, it's still going to be cold out there. Thanks for all my supporters who have been helping me keep this station up and running. I uh, appreciate that very, very much. And uh, with this being said, uh, we used to say in the north, wax your snow shovel because you're going to need to shovel some snow uh, tomorrow morning in your area. Be careful, though. If you're going to be shoveling snow, do, you know, be careful. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Let the sun do its job. It'll come out uh, later on and start helping to melt the snow. All right. See you later. Bye.